Vincent, many congratulations. A 6 0 mm-hmm. whitewash over Joe Cullen and a fairly routine game for yourself. Yeah, yeah, of course. I'm happy, really. With, uh, I, 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 don't, I don't think I played that well, but yeah, Joe is really struggling and, and you have to take advantage. That's the most important thing. The, the, the game is brutal and uh, I've done that. We saw you at the end talking. What was Joe saying? Was there a breeze or something on the stage? Was he saying? No, for, for me there was no breeze, but um, I felt a, a lot of difference between the practice room and the stage. But I, I can't say it's one or the other was right. Uh, but I think there was something wrong. But then it's again, ven- after a 6 0 win, you can't complain a lot. <laughs> it's a venue that you know well. Your Euro Tour victory was here. What, what is it about this arena that seems to bring out the best in you? I, I don't know if it brings the best out of me. It brings the worst out of Joe, that's for sure. That, <laughs> uh, so, yeah. it, I'm, I'm not that sensitive about venues or anything. Really. It's, as long as I'm playing well, I know I can, I can do a lot of damage to any player in the world. But it's all about me. I have to be, be bad and play well. Speaking of you playing well, you've been on a good run of form. You had a good match play, a very steady autumn series and a win here. Do you feel you're finding some consistency at last? Well, I'm playing better than, than I... Did of, I have been for a long time, but um, so um, Corona is the worst thing in the world. I, I know that, but for me, probably it has been good because it set me back and, and made me realize I have to practice more, live more for my sport, and do more for my sports in, instead of just traveling and playing and and be miserable about by my game and. Instead of just now, now every time to practice and get my head right, and and I think I'm I'm ready to go for now for 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 many years. Speaking about being miserable and getting people's head right after the Premier League, how much did it take to get Michael in a good frame of mind? Because we know he always comes to you when he's struggling. And after the Premier League, what was that conversation like with him? No, we have a couple of very hard conversations. I don't think, I mean. Uh, he was struggling in the Premier League, but he's always stru- he's at the moment he's more struggling with his mindset than with anything else. He's been so good, he's won so many things, but he took it for granted at one point, and now he has to realise that every morning he wakes up at a pro tour or whatever, he has to be on his A game to win a game and to win a tournament. And and if he's not willing to do that, he has to realise he's not number one in the world anymore. And and, and and that sounds probably really harsh, but it's the way it is. We have got so much, so many uh, amazing players in, uh, in the PDC now. It's not like you have five, six, you've got 40, 50 who can beat him when he's on 90%. And he has to realize that he has to do everything he can to be the number one in the world. And if he doesn't want to, he has to, yeah, he has to realize then he's probably number 10 or 20 in the world in two, in two, four years. Do you think he has realised that now? Do you think it's sunk in? You never know, eh? He's got a big <laughs> skull, so <laughs> it doesn't get through very easy. But <laughs> I mean, you have to say that he's really stubborn. And, and we all like that. So you have to tell him that every time. And you have to say in the morning. I, I saw him play um, the third Pro Tour of the week. And in the morning, he was so eager to win that he won. And then the next day, he woke up late, he was late at practice, he was late at everything, and he lost. So you know when something goes wrong. wrong. And he has to realize he has to do more than anybody else in the world because everybody expects from him um, 100 plus averages. If Michael wins with 94 average, everybody says he's played crap. And so he has to realize he has to do more than he want, what, he, what he has done lately. Vincent, congratulations, mate, and a pleasure as always. No problem, man. Bye-bye. Thank you, Amy. Vincent, well played tonight. You. you mentioned about um, coronavirus and not taking things for granted. Um, how nice is it to be back playing in front of a crowd and, and have the fans singing your name as you walked out? Oh, that's great, really. Um, to, to play in front of a crowd is, is just, uh, yeah, makes you feel really good. I mean, that's what uh, darts is all about. People love pl- uh, coming to darts. And, and see darts and, 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 and go to darts. And then um, for the last seven, eight, nine months, it, it's, it's not happening. So yeah, um, I think people are blessed to be here and to be uh, at this event. 
And just looking ahead to tomorrow, you've got Gohan Price, who won back-to-back uh, awesome series titles. Do you think having a game on that stage and, and getting used to playing in front of the crowd again might benefit you tomorrow? I don't know. We, I mean, it's, it's, every day is different. I have to prepare myself for the best. And, and, and if I'm in a game, and if I can, I can uh, work myself in a game, I've got a shot against anybody. I mean, I beat everybody in the world, but I also beat me many times. So um, it's, it's, it's all about me. I have to prepare myself. I have to do whatever it takes to be the best I can be tomorrow. Brilliant. Thanks, Vincent. Cheers. Okay. Josh? Uh, Vincent, after the World Match Play, you're obviously a very good tournament down in Milton Keynes. Do you believe you're in a, a good position to really qualify for lots of the majors coming into, in, later into the year? Um, at some, um, some major, I mean, the Worlds, I'm looking good and for the, the Players' Championship, but for like uh, the, the Grand Slam, I'm not in, so I have to be coming to the final here. So that's a goal, of course. And uh, for the European Championship, yeah, I only have one shot because there are four um, tournaments there. So I have to do really well there. So it's not like uh, it's easy, but I, I will try my best. I will work hard to, to be the best man I can. That's all from me, Vincent. Thank you very much. Hi, Vincent. Hello. Hello. Can you hear me all right? Yeah. Right. Um, obviously, uh, a really good win for you tonight. Obviously, when you have, there's a breeze on stage, it makes you even quicker and even more successful. I don't think there was a breeze on stage. Don't get me wrong. With you. There wasn't. Uh-huh. It was, uh, I felt it was different to the practice room. That's the only thing I'll say. Maybe the stage was perfect, but the practice room was not. Uh, ideal, but uh, I cannot say one or the other. So is that, what gonna... Joe was, is that what Joe was sort of saying to you and the referee? Yeah, he, he, was, he was saying these darts went funny, but, but yeah, I, I can't speak for him. I, I'm not going to do that. I know what I experienced. I said after 5 0, I said behind the stage, I said something is wrong there. It's not uh, the throw like it was at the practice area, but doesn't mean necessarily that the, the stage was wrong. Maybe the practice room or the board where I was playing on in the practice room was not ideal. There are, there's not many people in the world, Vincent, that lockdown's been good for them. But it certainly has, it seems to have reinvented you. Yeah, yeah, yeah um, I have a bad back. So I had a lot of time to, uh, to do stuff on that as well. And, um, it, it, and, and lockdown made me uh, realise that um, that is, is really important to get fit and to get um, and and that darts is really important to me. So I, I, I still love the game, even though I play so many times and I've travelled the world so many years. Uh, I, I made me realise that I miss it and that I really want to be part of it for the next couple of years. So that makes me, yeah, made me, made me eager and made me practice more and make me uh, my head straight that I want to I, I be uh, competitive for the next couple of years. And of course, at the Worlds as well, you're talking about you had a bad knee as well. You, you've had a bad back. Then it, sort of, it seems to have gone round your body. Everything seems to have gone wrong at some stage. So do you feel better than ever now? I feel better than ever, de- definitely. But, but the, the knee and everything, that comes because I was lack of uh, doing something about it. I mean, if, if my, my back is all right for four or five months, yeah, the, the mind says, oh, I don't have to do my exercises today. I will do it tomorrow. And then you get, you get more relaxed and then all of a sudden it's there again and then it's hard to get back. So it's all about me. It's about discipline and it's about um, doing the best for me. And, and I'm, it, that made me realize that if I'm doing everything I can, I can be healthy. So it's, no, it, it's not, not an excuse anymore. I mean, I have a bad back. That's not an excuse. But I know if I do a lot about it, I can, I can handle it and I can play a lot of games. Good stuff. Well, listen, thanks for your time and uh, congratulations tonight. Okay. Bye-bye.